Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset of the MacBook Air with the M1 chip. So this is going to fully wipe all of your data, application software. It's going to be as if we have a brand new computer. So this is ideal if you want to give the computer away, you want to sell it, or you just want to give it to someone and have all of your data removed from it. So I'm going to show you the process of how to do this. Now, if your computer is running Mac OS Big Sur, which is the operating system that this MacBook came with, then ideally you should upgrade to Mac OS Monterey. And you do this by clicking on the top left hand side of the screen, clicking about this Mac and then clicking software update. And if you update the software, then you're going to go to Microsoft Monterey and this process is going to be a lot simpler. However, if you do want to factory reset from Big Sur, then follow the link on the top right hand side with the button, which is going to take you to my Big Sur factory reset tutorial. So anyway, we're going to start from Mac OS Monterey and this process is actually really, really simple. So firstly, just make sure you have all of your data backed up before you continue. This is going to wipe everything. So make sure you have anything that you need saved. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to click on the top left hand side of the screen and we need to go to system preferences. And once we have system preferences up, we're going to click on the top left hand side here and we have this button which says erase all contents and settings. So I'm going to click this now and now it's going to ask us to enter our password. So I'm going to enter my password now for the local administrator account. So now it's saying that it's going to erase all the contents and settings and also it's going to remove these two accounts. So this is my administrator account. And this is a test account that I created. So here I'm going to go ahead and press continue and now I'm going to sign out of my Apple ID. So this is my Apple ID account and I'm going to type in my password for this. So this is the Apple account or the iCloud account. It's all the same account. I'm going to type in my password. So this is going to sign us out of all of the Apple services. So I'm going to press continue here. So now it's going to ask us for a verification code and this one's been sent to my phone. So I'm going to type this in now and this is going to sign us out of find my iPhone on any other accounts on this computer. So now it's saying, are you sure you want to erase all contents and settings? So everything's going to be deleted. This is the very last chance to back up anything that you might need. You can copy it over to another computer or move it to an external hard drive or solid state drive. So once I press this, it's going to erase everything. So I'm going to let that go now. So this arrays very quickly and only take a minute or two. And what we have now is the initial setup screen. So you can actually close the computer now and you could sell this computer. There's no personal information left. There's no applications left. So as if this is a brand new computer. So when somebody comes in and selects the language, what they're going to be met with is this activation menu and you can connect to your Wi-Fi. And once you've activated your Mac, it's as if this is a fresh computer. So now that we've activated the Mac, this is acting now as a fresh new computer. So this is as if sold the computer and someone is opening up for the very first time as if it's come straight from the box and this is the initial setup screen that you're going to get with Mac OS Monterey. So for example the new user that's going to have it is going to press the next button here they're going to select the language then they can go ahead and select their region and then they'll go through the setup process and then they'll be able to create a new account. None of your applications are going to be left here none of your data is going to be there so you can literally just close the computer now and put it in a box and sell it or pass it on to someone else safe in the knowledge that none of your applications or data are there. So anyway I hope you found this video useful if you did please like please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.